Hi, Mama. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm great. How are you doing, I'm doing son? good. Can we do some easy stuff today? Because you know yes. how I like to how I Take like to cook easy. Take it easy. And what <laughs> could be easier than Bobby's hot tomato jack and crab dip? Oh, son. Oh, my gosh. Next, we're serving up mahi-mahi with a zesty basil butter sauce alongside Bobby's favorite couscous with mushrooms. To you, son. To you, mama. Finally, Bobby calls the gang over to make grilled pineapple sundaes with shortcake topping, y'all. Love it. Love. Do you love? I love. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, everybody. I'm here in the kitchen with mama today um, on Best Dishes. I love yes, being here. I love y'all. cooking with you. Well, since we're here in Savannah, you know we got access to all this great local seafood. Oh, my gosh, uh, yes. Especially the blue crabs. Yes. And, uh, and I'm catching them right now, so I'm in the mood to do a, oh, that's like a wonderful. nice spicy crab dip. Oh, listen, you don't go to a party in, in Savannah without your tomato sandwiches and your shrimp or crab dip or both. And a good hot crab dip. And you can well, do it a few different ways. put me to work, son. I need for you to open up that mayonnaise and okay. get us a half cup. So I'm going to start out with a, with a cup of pepper jack cheese. I'm just going to grate good. this down that into our bowl. pepper jack, y'all, is going to give it a little bite. Because this is a hot spicy dip. Um, so we're going to add a little hot sauce to it. Okay. And the cheese that I'm using is going to have pepper flakes in it. Okay. All right, in with the mayo. All right, eight ounces, eight ounces of cream cheese, and it's been cream softened. Cheese. May I go it's ahead and start? Absolutely. Blending this. Absolutely. Now we're going to use our little hand mixer on this, uh, but after we put in our crab, we'll just fold it because we don't want our crab to be beat to death. Right. And I'm also going to give you the juice of two limes. Okay. And that should help, you know, blend it together and make this it a little easier. This looks delicious, too. son, already. Okie doke. And with a little bit of lime I'm juice. gonna go ahead, son, and add one teaspoon of hot sauce. Wow, that's a lot of juice in that lime, too. I'm telling you, that was a juicy lime. And a little bit of salt and pepper. Looks like half a teaspoon of pepper you got mm-hmm. lined up. Mm-hmm. Fourth of a teaspoon of salt. Not much salt, y'all, because you know crabs live in salt water. So they're bringing their own salt to the party, you right. might say. Built in. About the limes, tell them about that. A little trick. If you drop them in the microwave for 10 or 15 seconds, you'll get a lot more juice from them. Yeah. All right, I'm going to take two cloves of garlic here and just okay. mash them. Chop them up a little bit. I love what cream cheese does to a hot dip, son. That, it adds a lot of flavor. That's mixed up really, really well. And I'm going to be chopping your tomatoes. Does the recipe call for? I need for you to dice them. It calls okay. for it calls for two medium tomatoes. Those are uh-huh. kind of small, so okay. we got three of them. Okay. So you just want these diced. Mm-hmm. I gotcha. So Bobby, for all those folks out there that don't know, <laughs> they don't know what. I think they know everything, don't they? Oh yeah. What you want to so, talk about now? Your love life. Oh my goodness. I'm chopping these uh, <laughs> onions. I'm going to drop some green onion in there. And I'm going to use all of it, not just the green. I'm going to go all the way down to the My son is in love. Oh. And I'm so happy. I I'm think so you're as in love as I am. Well, you know, it just always makes a, a parent feel real good when you have real good taste when it comes to picking out the person that you think you want to be with. So mm-hmm. that's just great. And hopefully Katie will be able to stop by later. But we do love her. Well, you introduced me to her, so. I did. <laughs> all right. Get this stirred oh, up. Bob. And it looks beautiful already. It right does now. look beautiful. Love the color. And uh, the tomatoes are going to add a wonderful little flavor and color to it. Yeah. This is going to be great. And I'm going to finish it off with a little bit of basil. Okay. Love this flavor. Love it mixed with tomatoes. You know what yeah. I mean? Like in a tomato pie. Yes. And also in, in right. this crab dip, it's going to be great. So you think that's enough, son? Does that look tomato enough for you? I think so, you? don't you? I think so, too, yeah. Gosh, you smell it. Oh, I sure do smell it. All right, so you've got your little casserole dish out here for us. I have. How about if I give it a quick little spray? Please do. And the oven on uh, 350, please. Okie doke. Done. The oven's on. You know, the thing about a crab dip, and what you, you know, with, with really with everything, what you've uh-huh. always told me is to uh-huh. go right by the recipe the first time you make something, Absolutely. and then anytime after that, you and know, make, make it, it your yours. own. Absolutely. So you could, you know, there's a couple of different variations that you could do with this crab dip. Yeah. All right, and finally, I'm going to add about a pound of uh, crab meat. All right, you're using lump? Absolutely. Yum. Mmm. Oh, it's so good. 
I know it is good. We're gonna cook it at 350 for about 30 minutes. Okay, Bobby, let's move on down here and start on your favorite, this couscous with mushrooms. I'm adding a half a stick of butter to our pot and about a cup of onion. Son, let's start on the mushrooms. Okay. Now, these have been wiped down. Do you want them sliced or diced? Just sliced. Okay. Like okay, this. well, I'm just gonna slice these up then. And I just did this the other night at my house. I used chicken stock instead of just all yeah. water. I usually yeah. use water. Yeah. And the chicken stock made it much more flavorful. Chicken stock makes everything better, son. We're gonna let those cook down. Now, son, do you like yours kind of crisp? Like them or? nice and soft, just okay. like that. Well, we'll let those cook down for a minute. All right. Then we have got uh, some chicken stock that we're gonna cook this in. Cup and a half of a rich chicken stock. This is ready, Bobby. <laughs> Doesn't that look good? All right, cup and a half of chicken stock. Then. Okay. In it goes. Okay, and we'll let that come back to a bowl. Mm -hmm. Won't take a sec. No, because I had that hot, hot, honey. You want to measure out your couscous? Yes. And we're going to throw in one cup, I think your recipe goes. It's ready to go, right? Yeah, it's boiling around the edges. Stir that good. couscous in. Mm -hmm. And when we come back, we'll Take make it a... off the heat. Yeah, turn it, turn it off and okay. remove it from the heat. Off the heat. When we come back, we'll make a beautiful white fish to go with that. What do you think? Yes. Coming up next, Bobby grills the fish and I cover it in a zesty basil butter. The zesty ba basil butter is what makes it. And later, Bobby's friend, Coach Carter, is gonna lend a hand to our grilled pineapple sundaes with shortcake topping, y'all. You and I look as comfortable as a couple of nuns in a casino. <laughs> <laughs> I so hope y'all are enjoying the show, and if you do, be sure to click like, subscribe, and the notification bell so you'll never miss a video, and we'll be right back after the break. Welcome back. We're taking it easy today, y'all, and we made a wonderful crab dip a few minutes ago, y'all. Are you ready? You want to try it? Oh, you know I do, son. We've got fresh basil, some pepper jack cheese. Fresh blue crab. Uh-huh, pound of lump blue crab. Now I'm gonna just chop a little fresh avocado to put on top of our dip, just to kind of green oh, it up. Oh, that's all right. Not to worry, son, look at there. Not to worry. Isn't that pretty? It's really hot, so be careful. I know. Is it hot, is it hot? Season-wise. Got a little, little of my hot right. sauce in it, not much. Mm. Oh, son. So great, so rich. Oh my gosh, it's out of this world. Very good, very rich. I love the avocado mm. with it. I do too. We gotta balance mm. this out because that's really, really, mm. I mean, let's face it, that's 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 a heavy dish, it's kind of fattening. No, it, it, it's perfect for like appetizers, you know, when you're standing around getting your meal ready. Mm -hmm. Oh. Delicious. So let's balance it out with some fish. Okay. Beautiful mahi mahi. I'm gonna. Whoa! I'm gonna spray your grill, son. Right. I got four gorgeous mahi mahi steaks here. They're about, oh gosh. They're about six ounces a piece. I love mahi. And we're gonna do them with a really nice zesty basil butter. And the only thing I do to mine is just I rub a little olive oil on it, a little salt and pepper mm -hmm. and garlic powder, and that's really all you need for a good piece of fish. While Bobby is all in our fish, y'all. I'm gonna be making this butter. It's a zesty basil butter. And you know, it just depends on how many people you're feeding as to how much butter you wanna mix <laughs> or, up. Or to, or to who's making it. <laughs> or who's eating it. <laughs> but anyway, I'm, I'm throwing probably three, about three tablespoons in there, son. All right, of mama. softened butter. Now I'm gonna take one fat garlic clove. I wanna really mince it up fine so that that garlic flavor will get right in that butter like immediately. A little bit of salt and pepper. Yeah. All right, son, you know what I'm gonna do for you? What gonna do? I think I'm, if you'll pass me that olive oil, I'm just gonna go with a little bit more on it. All right. Just to juice that fish up. 
I'm going to put about a teaspoon and a half of lemon juice. And I'm just going to squirt that in our butter. This this lemon feels a little oily. <laughs> <laughs> Watch the fish. Okay. All right, son, just chop me up about a tablespoon and All a right. half of that. A little bit finer. All right. Will you put a little salt and pepper, please, on the other yes. side of the fish? I will do it. You know, the wonderful thing about being in a kitchen is don't sweat the small stuff. You know, everything can, can be fixed. It's more about the fact that I'm in here with my child having a wonderful time. Right. The food is just kind of the vehicle that got us here. You know what I mean? You want a tablespoon? About a tablespoon and a half yeah. of fresh basil. And son, I'm gonna I'm gonna put just a wee little bit of salt and pepper to our butter. There you go. So That's we're taking nice. it easy with seafood today, aren't we? Doesn't get much easier than this. No, or better. And I think that the fish is ready. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't take long. How easy was that? Very easy. All right, now here comes the good part. Bring that platter over here so I can That's reach right. it, Bobby. <laughs> Here we go, y'all. Oh, that looks and smells so good. Oh, incredible. I'm just gonna put a little basil on it, a little twist of lemon. You ready to fix a plate? I am so dead gum ready. Come okay. on down here. All right, you want me to bring the fish? Yes, please, right. son. Coming. Put it right there. And I'm gonna dip us up some couscous, if I may. Please do. Looks mm. delightful. Mm. The mushrooms and onions are you can like still see them. Let me get our fish. Yeah. You cook the fish perfectly. You see y'all, you can still see that it's moist. Mm -hmm. It's like a really nice, I mean, perfect medium. Right on the money. How about a little crusty bread? All right. You mind if I go ahead and try this? No, honey, you dig in. Is it like mm. wonderful? <laughs> the zesty basil butter is what makes it. Look at here. It's all about balance. <laughs> Bobby, this couscous is out of this world. You know, the only flavors I'm getting is like garlic and butter. <laughs> Those are good flavors to get. And a little basil. <laughs> Bobby, you know you've been talking about balance and all that stuff. We gonna stuff. balance it out? Yeah, we gonna balance it out. What are we balancing We're next? gonna even the playing field, honey. <laughs> Maybe Sam will stop by. You think he would? So what we'll do is I'll introduce, will. I'll introduce you to the man who introduced me to balance. Well, see, I know Sam. Well, I know, but they Poor don't. thing, he's been trying to balance me for years. Well, good luck with that. Sorry, Sam. Coming up, we got Coach Sam Carter out of his gym, y'all, and into my kitchen. And today, I'm teaching him how to make grilled pineapple sundaes and about a balanced diet. A balanced diet is a cookie in each hand. <laughs> And later, love is in the air when Bobby's girlfriend, Katie, joins us to make grilled pineapple sundaes with a shortcake topping. Love it! Love. Do you love? I love. <laughs> I hope y'all are enjoying the show. And I want to hear from you. Tell me what recipes or videos you'd like to see me make by just leaving a short comment below. Now, let's get back to the show, y'all. Do you curl your eyelashes, Sam? No, ma'am. No, ma <laughs> Look at his eyelashes. They're so curly. He's a pretty body. man. Yes, he is. He's Inter a pretty man. Introduce Sam. This is everybody. my good friend, Coach Sam Carter. He mm. is. Uh, he wait, is... wait, wait, Sam. Now we got to have some lessons. I, oh, know, you're the, I know you're the best uh, yes, in, 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 in your gym, but I want you to take oh, that okay. flower, and we need five of uh -huh. these. Yes, you see how I've got it leveled yes, off yes. pumpkin? He is my good friend, he's my trainer, and he's also the strength Feel and conditioning coach up, at SCAD. <laughs> Fill that cup up. And now you're under Paula Deen's gun. You're baking with her, can you believe yes. it? <laughs> well, I am going to teach y'all how to balance your, your meals. This is the sinful side of the balance. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to teach y'all how to make grilled pineapple sundaes with shortcake topping. All right, now Sam is measuring out, y'all, two and a half cups of all-purpose flour, a half a cup of sugar, and I'm cutting in a three-ounce package of cream cheese. All right, I'm going to add us two teaspoons of baking powder. Bobby's going to be measuring out a third of a cup of heavy cream. I'm going to add a half a teaspoon of salt, Coach. 
Tell mama what y'all do in the Right in into the, the bowl, gym. third a cup of heavy cream. When I met Coach, I was easily 25 pounds heavier than I am now. Before I met Bobby, you know, uh -huh. Bobby helped me out also because the friendship that we've developed uh -huh. over the years, mm -hmm. uh, I look forward to him coming in. It's more than just weightlifting. It's, it's, it's like a, he keeps me well-rounded and balanced uh -huh. in my life also. So, and it's good to have to Bobby's know Mr. Bobby. Bobby's a good guy. Bobby. Yes, yes, yes. And it's good to know Mr. Bobby Dean. You know what? And I've surrounded myself with good people. All right, so Sammy Lou, <laughs> this is my kind of balance. Yeah. You know, I, I've always said, in fact, I got a sign in my pantry, y'all, a balanced diet is a cookie in each hand. <laughs> <laughs> so Sam, what I want you to do is take the cutter and finish cutting that up for me. All right, Bobby, come down here, cause right. I thought, well, gosh, this is looking dry, y'all. We need that one stick of softened butter. All right. And look at those muscles. How's the wife and children? They're doing great. They're doing great. Good. Uh, my wife. Is she pregnant again? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Okay. No, ma I just couldn't remember. They do have three. I know they have three. Three precious children. Bobby, I want you to pull pull out a little of this flour. All right. Sprinkle it right here, son. All right. All right. You got your rolling pin. You can dust your rolling pin a little bit. All right. Because these are actually going to look like biscuits, y'all. So, <laughs> going straight to the, going straight to the gym from here. Yeah. You realize Sam, that, right? So let me let me tell you what we're going to do with this. We're going to crumble it up, y'all, and put it on a grilled pineapple sundae. <laughs> are you feeling balanced? <laughs> Now just take this, Coach. Yes. Do it like that, and then we're gonna knead it. <laughs> you want to put it over here? What you yes, want to do? Yes, I want you to pile it in one pile, honey. Right there. Okay. Doing good. Doing good. All right now, look at here, Bobby. Right. You get the gist of it, don't you? You son? get the gist of it, don't you, Coach? So roll that out, not too thin, guys. Now, not too thin. Okay, that's enough, son. Now y'all get in there with your biscuit cutters, and now listen. I want y'all to dip them in your flour, and then come over here and we're gonna cut us out our shortbread biscuits. Okay. Snuggle close together, cause we don't wanna waste a drop. Okay. All right, and just transfer them onto the baking sheet that's lined with parchment paper. You and I look as comfortable as a couple of nuns in a casino. <laughs> <laughs> look at this, y'all. We're only gonna get about five. No, we're gonna get more than that. Now what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take our leftover and we're going to roll it back up in a ball because I want y'all to get these close together, guys. Now, y'all don't act stupid. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I wanted you on the show today to come help me with my mom. All right, let's talk see. about balanced eating, and no. this is not what I had in mind. And I'm sure that this is not what you had no, in mind. No, no, no. So, Sonny Boy, that oven, 375 for about 15 minutes. Y'all don't go anywhere, stick around, cause I'm teaching my boys today about eating balanced meals. Coming up next, Bobby's girlfriend Katie is here to help us top off these grilled pineapple sundaes with a shortcake topping. I so hope y'all are enjoying the show. And if you do, be sure to click like, subscribe, and the notification bell so you'll never miss a video. And we'll be right back after the break. Hey, y'all, welcome back. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm bringing some balance to these boys' life. I am preparing for them a grilled pineapple sundae. And look who's joined us. Y'all all know Bobby's girlfriend. Hello. Kate. Isn't she adorable? Speaking of balance. Speaking of balance. <laughs> I love it. All right, now Coach is slicing us up some fresh pineapple. Bobby, I found this cutest little cookie cutter. Excuse me, Coach. Why don't you take that and remove the core from the pineapple? Now Carter get your cute about. little butt over there and <laughs> cut the cute little center out of the cute little right. pineapple. I'd rather go hang out with Katie, though. <laughs> Oh, you did it perfect, son. Right. Look at that, we got a little shamrock center. All right, now I got my melted butter right here, y'all. I got my griddle hot. Mm -hmm. Now I'm just gonna take yes. this butter and I'm gonna lather yes. up. Katie, come over here and help me. No, speak. Katie, come back over here. Gladly. Katie. <laughs> Katie. All right, what I want you to do, my precious, <laughs> is sprinkle the brown sugar on these because I'm just gonna put a little brown sugar on them, y'all, to help. Encourage the brownness. I love brown sugar. I do too. 
All right, you brush the butters. Yes, ma'am. And I'll flip these over for okay. you. Put a little bit more brown sugar, and then you just keep on going. Yes, ma'am. All right, this is coming along nicely. All right, look at here, doll baby. Yes, honey. I'm just going to put a little bit more butter on this one. Okay. Right there. All right, I'm going to flip that over. Oh, oh, oh. Love it. Love. Do you love? I love. <laughs> All right, Katie Bug. Yes, ma'am. I've got these done. Now, if you want to get our shortbreads. I would love to. Now, this is what I'm talking about, y'all. Balance. All right, now, Bobby. Okay. Ma'am. I've got our plates down there, son. All right. If you would dip us up one scoop of ice cream on top of these pineapples I'm giving you. Oh, my God. Love it. Okay, y'all, let's finish up these sundaes with a little bit of caramel sauce, our crumble shortcake on top, a little bit of fresh whipped cream, and, of course, we need our vegetable, a little mint, y'all. All right, what does this say, children? A balanced diet is a cookie in both hands. That's it! That's what balance is all about. Y'all dig in. How great is it? I love it. I knew you would, my angel. <laughs> out of sight. Yes, Coach, thank you so much. Thank you. For coming out and helping balance our lives and being such a friend to Bobby and making him all buff and pretty <laughs> for Katie. And eating his food with me, Mr. Love's company. Yes. <laughs> hey, y'all, it's Paula Dean. Now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a video. Love and best dishes, y'all.